If you remember back when you had to specify an X, Y, or Z communication protocol for a computer bulletin board, it's best not to let on. It doesn't make you seem very cool in the modern world, nor does making that old psh, psh, boing boing sound that dial up modems used to make. Still, you might want to hum a couple of bars of it this week to commemorate the first ever computer to computer link through ARPANET, which happened on October 29th back in 1969. Of course, it was probably about 0.4k per second. Do they even call it 4H? I don't know what that is. And you know, the kids today wouldn't recognize it. There weren't any pictures, let alone moving pictures. There weren't any idiotic quarrels with foul-mouthed strangers. All there was was people exchanging information. I mean, for that matter, the kids today probably wouldn't recognize a computer that just sat there computing and wasn't connected to a whole bunch of idiotic and extraneous distractions. You know, I, I confess, I find that a little weird these days myself. If my computer's not connected to the internet, I have problems. Now, some of these come from the software. Right? It expects to be connected to the cloud all the time, and it can start to act up if it's not. But a lot of it, yeah, it's me. I expect to be able to fact check things instantly, send an email as soon as something is done, upload it, download it, get it over with. What am I sitting here waiting for? Subjected to annoying delays. And of course, the punchline is these delays aren't really that annoying. What's happened is that luxury has made me soft. This is something the ancients thought would happen, but we're so much smarter than them that we don't even bother to Google their wisdom anymore. But it's true, when the machinery keeps solving your problems, you become petulant and you become frivolous. And it's happened to us in a big way. I mean, you can go online and find websites of cats that look like Hitler. And yes, I've done it. And you know what? Some of those cats really do look disconcertingly like Hitler. But what kind of way is that to make use of technology that has now put computers in our pockets that fit in your hand, are more powerful than the ones that landed man on the moon, can connect you instantly to all the knowledge, the culture, the inspiration the world has provided, and you use it to get in quarrels with strangers and watch dancing dog videos. You know what? It's not the technology, it's us. It's not the fault of the people at ARPANET. It was clever to hook up those computers. If we've done something silly with it, you know what you need to do? Boot up that mirror app and look at it and it'll show you the source of the problem.